My name is Jess, and I'm a data scientist here at Data Robot. Today, I'm going to quickly show you a demo of the Eureka model and how we can use it. For this demo, I started with a data set of monthly economic indicators going back to 2016. I pulled these from the Federal Reserve database on Guandal, which is public for use, so you all can download this as well and play around with it. So I started with setting a time series project as normal in Data Robot, and I set housing starts as my target variable. Instead of waiting for this to finish running, let me just jump to a project that already has completed. Now, in this case, once Autopilot completed, I also went into the repository and grabbed a 3000 generation Eureka regressor from the repository and ran it against the data robot reduced feature list that was generated for us automatically. When that Eureka model finished running, the 3000 generation version of Eureka is now sitting at the top of the leaderboard as a best model on cross-validation. I'll click into the model details, and here we can actually see the underlying mathematical expression for this specific Eureka model. In this case, we can see that Eureka is only using a subset of all the possible features in this model, specifically lagged information about our target, housing starts, and other lagged version of the change in West Texas crude spot prices. The model is using a few complex operators in this case with a few nested ifs, max and min thresholds, exponents, and more. I can also click through the Pareto front here to see less complex models that Eureka also found along the way. If I see a model that I like better, I can click to add that model as a separate entry on the leaderboard and see how that specific model scores on the leaderboard on cross-validation as well. Once I'm happy with my Eureka models, I can deploy it in a few ways. I could deploy it as a normal Eureka model, which allows us to take advantage of model monitoring and the whole suite of MLOps benefits. However, you could also just copy paste the model expression and port it into any environment that you have, whether it's in SQL, Excel, or any other database for lightning quick predictions. There's a lot more power to Eureka under the hood. If I click into advanced tuning here, but modifying these settings can dramatically boost your accuracy, but can also take some effort. So reach out to us if you're interested in learning more.